And we did have some rain, but earlier, before that, 97 degrees was the old daily record high for September 5th. We hit 98 degrees, so we broke our third record of the week. It has been so hot to start September. It feels more like July, uh, early August around here than it does uh, September. I actually said it was August uh, when I was out and about today because uh, it feels so much like August. And uh, looking at our 90-degree uh, temperature days so far this year, we've had 47 of them so far in Denver. Annual average is 43. Last year we had 58 in the record. Thank goodness we are not near that 73 days from back in 2012. It took us a while to get to those 90s, not until July, and we certainly have caught up uh, on our annual average. So 98 degrees out of DIA, 95 downtown. Broke that daily record high for us. 83 is our average, and we were there just the other day. 76 outside the CBS4 studios right now. Winds are picking up at about 25 miles an hour and out at DIA. Still pretty warm, close to 90 degrees, 86 from our weather watcher Chris down in Castle Rock and across the state 101 in La Junta, 102 in Lamar. Eastern Plains still so hot right now in the upper uh, 90s, 93 in Fort Collins, 60s, 70s in the mountains and on the western slope 79 in Craig where there is some rain right now but 97 over in Grand Junction. Satellite and radar again you can see some rain around the Denver area so that's why we're seeing those gustier winds and temperatures cooling off just a bit but again rain up in parts of Moffett County where they definitely need it. Some rain near Steamboat Springs and you'll find some of this near Edwards and then all the way down close to Salida. We will take every drop we get because our drop monitor was updated today and this is not good. Our abnormally dry area, so not in a drop but getting awfully close, uh, area has expanded. Uh, yeah, last week it was just in parts of the high country in Moffett County and down to the southwest, so now it's covering the entire uh, western side of the state and even here across the front range. One more time that satellite and radar again just getting some nice rain at the moment, nothing severe. We have this area of high pressure uh, sticking with us and with this cold front and that is going to sweep through uh, by the end of the week and into the weekend and then we have this area of low pressure that will sweep through as well and then by Sunday we have a much better chance for some rain although we do have a decent chance tomorrow and on Saturday. So future cast for tonight maybe even a little rain here in Denver not a great chance but the possibilities out there. A little cloud cover to start the day tomorrow and then we will see the chance of some afternoon and evening thunderstorms across the front range and then popping out towards the eastern plains. Let's check in with Hurricane Dorothy it is so close to the coastal area. There is a chance that maybe tonight or early tomorrow morning it could make landfall. If it doesn't tonight or early tomorrow morning, it most likely won't. But we've had a lot of flooding in Charleston. There's been a lot of tornadoes uh, in uh, South Carolina, North Carolina today, over 20 uh, tornado warnings. It is a Category 2. Again, there is that slight chance it does make landfall, and then it will finally, by Friday, make its way out into the ocean and hopefully be done with us. Let's take a look at our lows for tonight. 63 in Denver, 60 in Fort Collins, low 60 out in the eastern plains, high country 40s, 50s. Tomorrow, ha, huh, how nice will this be? 85 in Denver and Greeley, mid 80s out in the eastern plains, high country 70s, 80s. Unfortunately, western slope, I'm sorry, you're still really hot in the uh, upper 80s and low 90s. 86 on Saturday, chance for some more evening thunderstorms. Sunday, 83 degrees. That's certainly going to feel nice, and it would as look pretty likely we're in for some afternoon and evening thunderstorms. And we start next week in the mid 80s, and I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> I think we all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thanks so much, Lauren. Sports is next.